Hello everyone, welcome back to Vlase Plays Europa Universalis 4. So uh, we are colonizing over here. We are building a fleet to settle other places. Um, I do believe over here at uh, Kamchatka is going to be our next goal so that we can get a little bit closer to here. Um, because Elut is 628 distance away, and uh, we need to uh, bridge that gap, so. We will work tire tirelessly to do that, and also uh, work tirelessly to getting ourselves, uh, and we teched up a couple times, uh, not too major, but uh, happy all the same. Um, We're not at war, which is good. Uh, next... Next, we get a free colonist. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. Good to know. This is going to be part of our... No, we've... it is. It is part of our patrimony. Uh, we're working on this to make it part of our patrimony. So, if we get a second colonist, I actually think we're going to start going here. Um, so... I'm going to keep these guys here. My conquistador is here. Um, yeah, uh, everything is kind of moving. Gain 100 population in Kimikawa. Some of the local natives have been assimilated to the colony's population. Good. Good. Uh, that means that we will increase our settling. settling. Um, we want administrative rank up. They're all, you know, rather angry with us, and I can completely understand that. Um, Ming's doing okay. Not that it fucking matters to us, really, at this point, but uh, there you have it. Um, we can build pro provincial improvements. We may want to do a little bit more while everything's going on. Um, we can't build special buildings. Makes sense. Um, let's build another temple. Um, here. Sure, why not? Um, I don't exactly know what we're building temples to, but let's, uh, start working on Sahir. I want to make it a beautiful place because eventually, one day, excuse me, uh, we will be building our temp- our, uh, capital there, so. Um, how long until the Carricks are done bringing in marriageable women? Good. Um, 86 days. Good. Um, the Carex will help us move our men. And we will then, um, you know, work on assimilating people. Um, how? Not very violent. A little bit more violent. Um, so that's okay. We definitely want to grab this, but, um, let's see. Two... Slowly but surely, we're going to be working our way up here, taking uh, what is, you know, modern-day Siberia. Again, we will be a nation of frigid bastards. Um, we do have our men here, which is good. Um, first ship, first Carrick built, in another year we'll have two. That should be enough to bring our men. We will definitely get an admiral for it. Um... Let's see, um, can, can you tell me what it is? Heavy ship. Heavy ship, no, um, I'd like to know what type of ship they are. Well, we'll just, uh, Explorer, 50 diplomatic power. Um, let's do that. An admiral, one military each month, a diplomatic power. Um, fine. One military power each month. Okay, I, I get it. Um, you know, we could probably stand to raise more men, but I don't particularly feel like it. We have an explorer, which will help. We have a conquistador, which will help. Um, I don't want to lose my entire fleet. So I'm not going to be foolish. Um, 
military. Yeah, we just, you know, went to seven. Or, yeah, seven, because they're seven. Um, we may need him gain a traitor. Okay. Um, cool. And they're at nine. They're always about two ahead of us. Uh, this is slowly, very slowly, uh, becoming part of our patrimony. Or uh, becoming a province of ours, uh, which is cool. Um, you know, taking a look, I don't really see anything going on too, too crazy. Vietnam seems to be back in control. And uh, we will move these guys up here, because that's important. And because we're going to get another colonist, and uh, we're going to, you know, take Stanova, Stanovoe, I guess you could pronounce it. Um, we will move you here into our land. Uh, things are going okay, though. Um, better than I expected. Uh, these guys are just really, um, indeed, fish. Who would have figured, uh, that? <laughs> really, at this point. Um, so yeah, uh, with two, I think, you know, actually, we'll, we'll get, no one else is gonna compete for this land as far as I know, so we don't really have a rush. We should probably work on getting this, but this is definitely our next goal, so, um... 93 more days until we get that next ship. I don't particularly... Revolt risk is super low. Um, I mean, at this point, everything has been going pretty good. So, can't, can't complain. But sometimes I still do. Um, yeah, here we go. 10 more days and uh we will lose a little bit more money because you know we've got to ship uh maintenance uh indeed let's merge those and let's attach and i don't know how many men it will be able to take that answers that um, let's build one more, because it should be able to do that. <laughs> okay. Let's combine these guys, and let's slowly send you up here. Can I not? Oh, because it's not taking the conquista. No, it did. It took the conquista door. Yeah, why can't you land? Um, yeah, go right there. Um, I don't know why. Uh, we can tech up. So, yep. Um, the Jurchen script created by Emperor Aguda is lost. People have to use the Mongolian scribes to record every document, while illiterate Han Chinese and Mongolians could understand their respective language when read aloud. By converting Mongolian alphabet, the new Manchu alphabet would be suitable for Manchu people and would make the administration easier. Cool. That's cool. Um, another advisor? No, everything's fine. Um, let's see how that impacted us. Not a whole hell of a lot. 5% is not a big chunk, but uh, fine. Um, yeah, let's... Can I colonize? Yes, let's colonize. And um, it's going to be a little while till we colonize this. And this is Terra Incognita, which makes sense. But uh, we'll send a guy to investigate. <laughs> We're coming here in the middle of winter. Um, that's really funny to me. Um, can you transport the men? Yes, I can, indeed. Okay. Let's unpause, and let's put our men here. Um, we should win this handily. Um, indeed, we did. We suffered some unit loss. That's okay. 
Um, let's go and get our men down there. And... Let's hope that uh, this colony rises. Oh, they're uh, ferocious, too. 10% uh, damage bonus. They do not want us taking their land. Uh, you know, who, who can blame them? Um, you know. And let's, you know, go here. Settlers are working their butts off. That's good. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, revolt risk is zero. Good. Um, we are slowly spreading ourselves. Uh, we're, you know... Uh, let's merge these guys. And how long until the ship is done? 87 days. Okay, we can we can wait. Um, until that's done. And then we should be able to transport all of our men. Um... And that's really cool, actually. Um, yeah, slowly but surely, I think we may actually be able to accomplish this. Um, let's see. The range of this is now... Closest to unblockaded core province. Oh, it has to be core. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Um, okay. 36 days. All is going... Somewhat well. It's good that we integrated with the Ainu people up here. Um, you know, we're gaining more money now. Uh, slowly, but surely, again. Uh, we will combine this, and we will... There. Um, that should... That should cut it. Yes, that, sh that is indeed. Um, so, good. Good, 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 good. Um, here we go. All well that is going well. As they say. This is almost done being colonized. So we're going to jump here to block them from being able to come. There are no colonists there. Settler chance. And they're not very ferocious and they're not very aggressive. So uh, we are excellent. And are these? Why are these Terra Incognita? Interesting. Um, they won't be for long. But let's go here and send a settler. And this is being settled as well. Cool. Um, more of a military presence here in Kamatkucha, or however you want to say it. And we will uh, begin coring that. Yes, indeedy do. Um, going to take a couple years to core it, but that's fine. Um, take the blame and move on, or bribe an advisor to take the blame. Uh, bribe. Um, I'm going with bribe. Yes. Um, so let's build... There's a temple in Sahir. There is not an armory in Sahir. Let's build an armory. There we go. Always good. Alright. Um, we are sending a settler there. And we're coring. And this is now that... And we should uh, send... I don't want to leave you guys stranded or anything, but uh, <laughs> you're stranded. And then we'll try to cross the icy, terrifying ocean of death, pain, and destruction. Um, yeah. Always good. Always good. Um, yeah, things are, you know, we are we're slowly becoming a Japanese power. And by... Whoa! Uh, Japan is big! Japan is growing, and Japan is okay with us. Um, we do have um, a diplomat, so let's send that to handle that. Um, who knows Who knows how this is going? They're at war with Assam, and they are... Um, yay! Part of our patrimony. Good. Um, with Timurids and Delhi. Cool. I went to a Delhi once. Dum ch um, so yeah, uh, we are kind of expanding this way, and less up, but, uh, that will change, rest assured. Um, if we can get one more colonist, um, that is the direction I will go. It is a cold empire we have here, <laughs> truth be told. Um, yeah, so we only have one more that we'll have to worry about. We are settling slowly. 
Hayawan Yi Aisengoro, and In Gen Boduri. Cool. Um, so this is the state of the world at 15, in, during 1531. I mean, we could go down here. It's possible. I just think it's a real not good idea. Don't get me. Don't ask me why. I think finding the new world. You would imagine that would give us some prestige. That we can say we discovered, you know, another continent. Forget that Castile is already in South America, and they are. I know that for a fact. Yep, Japan is just blobbing. Um, they want Okinawa. You know, fine. Um, they're consolidating their power. Um, natives of Kamacha are losing. Yeah, uh, that's what happens when we have, you know, guns. <laughs> Just kind of throwing it out there. They are really ferocious, though, which is um, cool. Japan is cool with us. Let's see what they're... Um, uh, they're not actually ferocious, but they are aggressive. Um, so we definitely need a military presence there. Um, so yeah. Um, when this becomes a settlement, um, we will send our... Sh when this is close to becoming a settlement, we will go from there. Uh, revolt risks are real low. Um... Accept demands or reject demands. Um, game, please. I know you're quick saving. Um, hey, look at that. Uh, national revolt risk is lower. Fine. Um, I know we're going to lose a little bit of money because of that, because this game likes to piss all over my cereal and tell me it's milk. But uh, that's okay. Um, is there another name for this? Nope. Another name for that. Yeah. Um, you know, that's fine. I just don't have a list of names written down um, to do anything with that. Can we have, like, some positive gains? Man, we have we really haven't been a military power, but we're, we're slowly growing in administrative rank, which is nice. We may actually start getting a war, um, or we might start getting points. Um, military rank is still lower is lower than it's ever been. I was going to say, are they at 10? No, they're not, but, you know, sometimes it feels like they might as well be. Um, you know, we can build some more improvements, and I should. Um, is, they're done. So let's see. Armory is done. A dock. There are docks in Sahir. Well, you know, there's no docks here. Let's do that. I don't want to lose too much money, so that will be the end. Um, Usulai is doing well um, you know again in building infrastructure is important um, and when this cores and you we will make this kind of our may we may make this um, who knows um, no idea no idea slowly slowly gaining land once we core this we'll actually be able to come over here to the Aleuts. oh man that is, um, that is Alaska up here, <laughs> actually. Um, so, cool. Let's, let's do that. Um, will take a long time, mind you, but that's fine. This is probably all one, but uh, th those are the Kuril Islands, it says, on the map. So, we're, you know, we're gaining money. Um, I, I can't say I'm unhappy about that. Like I said, we, we may well be able to start fielding a larger military, and um, if that's the case, you know, we're slowly becoming an, a, a larger empire. We're nowhere near the size of the Orient Horde or the Ming, but one of these days, one of these days it may come to pass that we are not just a, a uh, colonial power, but a, a military power in our own right. I definitely want to take Tokachi. That would make me happy. Um, but we need to end these two becoming... We need these two to become colonists. And you know, it makes sense that these are slow. This, these are slower. 
That does make sense. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go to uh, 40, I think, is a good a good stopping place. I've recorded like eight episodes today of this. I'm, I mean, I'm addicted. Now, now that things are finally moving, um, natives in Kamacha lose one ferocity. The local native population is more accepting of our presence. This will, yeah, good, no, good. Um, we want to, we want to integrate these peoples into our culture. Um, and make them, uh, you know, make them our friends. We want them to, uh, work toward the betterment of Manchuria, which is what I'm calling us. I'm not calling us the Manchu. Um, sure, it's, this one is definitely going faster, 10%. Um... How many colonists does it need? A thousand, yeah, that's fine. To create a city. Um, I mean, the, some of these places, uh, colonists rich, great. That's that's a big that's a big boon for us. Um, what is the next idea up that we'll get? Holy shit, we're almost done. Overseas income, that's great. We're almost done. Uh, then we'll you know work on our next idea group slowly but surely. Um. And that'll be really cool. I will be so excited about that. We're at, what, six? Uh, five. Um, indeed, fish. Yeah, who would have thought Shirabishi, uh, again, who would have thought that this little island nation would, uh, give us fish? It defies understanding. Uh, our diplomatic tech is lower than anything else. Uh, we're not really diplomats. We're col colonists. Colonists. Military rank is pretty good, though. Holy shit. Who is this? Manchu Patriots. Uh, they're getting the shit rocked by... Yeah, by the Ming. Look at that. Just, that's just one stack of theirs. Um, naval supplies. Good. Um, I don't know what that means, but... Um, cool. Cool beans. Holy shit, that's a 20 stack. I don't even have anything to, to compare to that. If they went, wanted to go to war with us... Um... And they're losing against the sum. Oh, I see what's wrong. They can't get past the Sean. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Um, I mean, they'll run roughshod over us, but... Um, native assimilation. Good. Good. Uh, we are doing what we need to do. I like that a lot. I'm glad to hear it. Um, a golden era for culture! I've never seen that. With peace in our country, the great musicians, artists, and poets are rejoicing in the capabilities of entertaining their betters. Gain five prestige. This is this era of cultural enlightenment is definitely improving the mood of the Manchu. Um, good. Uh, damn well should. Uh, we're, you know, colonizing and growing and expanding the empire without sacrificing the lives of our people too terribly much. Um... The Sean like us. Good. Uh, they're too north to really do anything, but, um, you know, that is the way it goes. And uh, five more, which is one more month, we will, uh, damn, damn right, uh, field rotation. Okay. Um, Emperor, administrative technology increased to three field rotation, six. Since the time of Charlemagne, people have been experimenting with switching from classic two-field rotation systems to a three-field system. It's time to promote this. It will increase the amount of land devoted to growing food crops. Good. Uh, not that we have a lot of land that can do that, but... We can now build a farm estate. Um, like a good neighbor, state farm is there? Where's the state? Uh, manufacturing. Uh, we need ten administrative power... And a lot of gold. Holy goods produced is 100% increase, though. That's not bad. Um, we definitely have our sights set on these sorts of things. Uh, colonies are doing pretty good. I don't think we're going to be done it by 40. But, uh, you know, let's send a guy to talk to the Ming. And let's send a guy to talk to the Oriet Horde. Because they're all kind of pissy with us. Um, Ming, you're, you're losing the war against the Sum. Who is this? Orissa. Uh, we used to like them a lot. Um, but we're allied with the Sean, and they're not happy about that. So, not a lot I can do about that. But uh, legitimacy is increasing, which is nice because we have a higher prestige. We are losing it 
at a pretty rapid rate, but that's okay. Um, at some point, things are, things, like I said, things are going to peak. And that'll be really cool. Like I said, uh, we're slowly gaining in traction. So let's take a look at the next idea group. We're not, excuse me, there yet. Expansion ideas. Yes. Yes, indeed, I like this. Um, I like that a lot. Um, slowly ticking, ticking by. Um, you know, I don't think it'd be bad to get a trade idea. Or trade ideas, either. But uh, innovative ideas probably wouldn't be bad, either. Prestige decay decreases. Um, what did I see? Yearly... Monthly war exhaustion leaders without upkeep. Technology cost would be 10% less. That's not bad. That would make us only 50%. That'd make us close to the Muslim group. That's not bad either. Uh, we are talking to the Orient Horde to try to convince them not to punch us in the face. And same with China. You guys, you guys are going to start needing us real soon. Um, again, Japan is growing completely out of control. And uh, we're almost done coring. Um... It seems that our government, the, that the government that governs the least governs the best as far as Sanghalin Oulu is concerned. Our non-involvement in Sanghalin Oulu is proving, um, if it moves, draft it. If it moves, taxes it. Um, they can do things on their own, question mark. Uh, local trade power. You guys are doing fine. Becoming a, a major, major group, uh, benign neglect. Our non-involvement is a boon to the province, which is slowly developing into a hub for the local community. The local community being, you know, the frontier of our country, but cool. It may not always be. Uh, that's definitely the plan of it not always being. We're gaining, uh, you know, oh, ungrateful natives of Kemcha are attacking. We will suppress that swiftly and rigorous, rigorously. Um... We knew that that was going to be a problem, which is why we sent those men up there to begin with. Um, yeah, things are things are going good. I wonder what happens when we complete an idea group. I've never done it. This is literally the, the best I've ever done, and I actually don't think I'm doing badly now. Um, our score, of course, uh, would like to question our thoughts on that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that is the way it goes. Um, yeah. do 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 um, Kamikawa is considered part of our patrimony. Um, that doesn't really move us any closer to getting the Alutes 620 away. This isn't going to really do that either. We have to find a way. This is a wasteland. Uh, we have to find a way to increase our, um, settler range and go from there. Ming is at 100, and I imagine the Oriet Horde is close behind but for now, things are going well. Uh, and revolt risks should be going less. Um, yeah. Not bad. Not, you know, things are, things are going better than expected. Which is to say, I didn't expect them to go poorly once this started. Again, we're going to take a look. Um, Orient Horde... Oh! Kazakh, which I guess is Kazakhstan, um, is becoming quite large. Or it has been quite large. I really hope they go to war. Timurids and Delhi, and they are at a peace with Assam. Which has grown. Uh, they really didn't have much of a choice, but to concede that point. Um, but yeah, there you go. Slowly expanding uh, ideas. We can finally max out. Um, yes, indeed. Done. Um, I don't think that really did anything for us. The eight banners discipline increased. Um... We unlocked an idea in group exploration ideas. Global empire. Our com commitment to our colonial empire has changed the attitude of people to jobs in the colonial administration. No longer a place for freebooters who seek to maximize their fortunes. Instead, it is seen as a career for the brightest and the best. This is reflected in our taxes. Overseas income is 10% more. Uh, that's good. Uh, we can't really do anything right now, so we'll just continue to gain that quickly. Um... Manchu ideas. Uh, I did not notice that that was red before. 
Cool. Things are things are going good. Um, knowledge is power. Or ignorance is bliss. Knowledge is power. Sucks that we are going to have some revolt risk up, but at the moment, people are pretty happy with our... Oh, and that's almost a core province. That should cut... Um, Kamich is a self-sustaining, and so is that. So, awesome. Uh, we will core both of those immediately, if I can. Yes, I indeed, I think we will be able to. And welcome to our patrimony. And we still can't count the Aleuts just... We can't see that yet, because... This isn't, but I don't think it's going to. Um, oh, hello. Oh no, that's part of that. That's part of ours. Okay, never mind. Um, we are going to stay here, but we will send our ship up to here. There we go. It does have a port. Wonderful. And we should. Yep, we do indeed send a colonist there, which would be good. And I believe it's time to colonize Donovoy. Indeed it is. All right. Awesome. Um, things are improving. Let's send you guys up here and see how that goes. Which, um, yeah, okay. I don't know what this is going to do, but uh, they will be there in 34 days. And uh, we're going to move you guys into here and um we are finally increasing our our life uh i thought this was wasteland but this is not actually um the ungrateful natives yeah they're uh losing badly we knew that was going to happen which is why we sent our men there um this won't get us any closer to the loot islands but perhaps if we send our men, that will take a long time to get up there, but they will do it indeed. And, um, Gaziga, yeah, cool. Again, all we need is one more colonist, and things will actually start going a little bit faster. We have almost all of Hokkaido, though, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, taking, take forever, guys. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, uh, well, we won. I wish I had not used that, because this is indeed... Oh, shit, there's a ton of land over here. Beautiful land, no less. I believe I know what our goal is, guys. <laughs> right here. Let's, uh, let's make... Let's make something happen. Uh, we'll go down here. And, um... Yeah, cool. Awesome. This is becoming part of our patrimony. And we are gaining more money. This is becoming patr part of our patrimony. Cool. Um, maybe gonna end the episode here real soon. Actually. Um, they're super aggressive, which is a shame. Um, they're not, though. So, you know, moving up through here wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Oh, um, but, uh, attrition. That's not good. Uh, they're 0.9%. That's fine. They can, they'll weather that. And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna save up diplomatic power because I kind of want to just, like, zoom through the next idea group. I know that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because we should be teching up. But, uh, yeah, we are slowly moving <laughs> into these frigid territories. Um, we kind of look like Texas. Chinese Texas. Um, but, you know, that's fine. We definitely want to get this, but, you know, that can wait. I really want to get over here. The, because the sooner we can get over here, the sooner we can start, you know, because we're, it's right here. The sooner we can start moving possibly down. Um, how do we increase our colonial range? That is a question we need to ask ourselves. Um, will this in increase our colonial range? No. Um, that won't either, though. Um, I'll have to look into that. Um, but yeah, actually, you know, I think I am going to save here. 
Uh, let's let's do one more here. Let's go to the uh, eight. Excuse me. We should grab these islands as well. Um, you know, let's actually send our ship down here. Um, and that should help out a whole lot. I don't quite know um, that they've been through there before. Um, I don't know why this is Terra Incognita. Um, can you? Nope, okay. I don't know why that's Terra Incognita then. Um, let's move it back here, indeed. And our advisors are... St oh, we lost our diplomatic advisor, which is actually why we're taking up slowly. Um, diplomatic technology cost 10%. Okay. Um, you know, and we actually have enough money that we could probably do a military advisor. Um, land force limit, reinforcement speed, national manpower modifier, fine. Um, yeah. You know, we're, ga we're gaining money. Uh, these are becoming our colonies. We've got all of this, which is nice. Um, you know, 25%, and we need to use our diplomats for something. They're just kind of sitting idle on the public dole. Uh, let's chat here with Kaza. Diplomacy send. Yes. Uh, you know, it's it's always wise. And let's talk to Delhi and improve relations with them. Yeah. It's always wise to do that. Um, again, we are looking a little like Texas right now. I don't know how long this episode's gone on, of course. Um, maybe one day, through our colonial efforts, we'll actually be able to link up with a Western power, but I don't see that happening any time in the near future, at least. Uh, but things are definitely moving quickly, and I like that. So, uh, exploration is probably the next step we're going to do. Um... Yeah, they're, you know, I understand attrition. Uh, it's fucking cold up here. Okay. Sorry that I, you know, stole Hokkaido from you. Tokachi. Um, Shirabishi, Kamikawa, and yeah, okay. Um, this will be something to tell my brother about. He's actually been, actually kind of lives in Japan, but kind of doesn't. Um, we have been lucky enough to appoint an excellent minister whose actions will most likely benefit the realm. Uh, Reap... That is the... Reap the Administrative. That is the first time we've ever been given free stability. That is awesome. That's great. Uh, wow, Prestige Decay is terrible. Stanavi is going to give us grain. That's fine. This is going to give us fish, no doubt. Um, Stanavi is actually going pretty quickly. Um... I don't know what the next will be. How long until we core? We're almost 50% of the way there. Not so bad. Not so bad. Um, you know, they're less happy with us than before. because of the neighboring heretic religion, but we don't share a border technically with them, so um, that's good. Um, there was a bit of a glitch there. Um, yeah. Slowly working our way out. Um, whoa, that's crazy. We want to go toward there. Uh, beautiful. That's going to be... Uh, that's East Tangusta, you know? Um, good. Things are looking... Let me guess. Ten? Nope. Nine. Eight, though. We are at seven. Um, natives in Stunaway lose five hostility in Comienda system. Goods produced is 100%. Um, they're not aggressive at all, actually, so that's good. Um, yeah, holy shit. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have guessed, that's for sure. Slowly but surely working our way. Well, we're, we're slowly moving down. We're not, uh, sucking so much. Um, that's good. Uh, and, you know, actually, I think now's a good place to save with all the good stuff that we've been handed. Um, it's actually been a little over ten years since the last time we did this, so I've probably been playing a long time. Uh, as always... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.